Howdy, howdy. My name is John, and this video is a review of the series The Dragonlance Chronicles by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. The Dragonlance Chronicles consists of three novels, Dragons of Autumn Twilight, Dragons of Winter's Night, and Dragons of Spring Dawning. This is actually my second series review. The first one I did back when I was still new to book two, and it's not the best quality, but hey, you know, you've got to start somewhere. I have been reading out of the annotated versions, and the annotations really do enhance the reading experience. I do warn you, do not read the annotated version unless you have read the three books first. The annotations do contain spoilers. The annotations are something you want to do on a reread. I reread these three books as part of a read along sponsored by Noah at Everyone Who Reads It Must Converse. There were a lot of booktubers who participated, and I'll try to provide links to all of those that participated in the description below. Since reading The Chronicles back about a year and a half ago, I've actually read a good number of other books in the series. I reread the Dragonlance Legends trilogy. I read for the first time the two books in the Raceland Chronicles series. Right now, I'm in the middle of the third book of the Dragonlance Prelude series. Most of the people who were reading Dragons of Autumn Twilight for the first time really struggled with the book. As I was rereading it, I could tell why. The first book is just not very well written. Weiss and Hickman were new to each other as writing partners. The book also suffers as being a novelization of a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Now, this detail that it is the novelization of a Dungeons and Dragons campaign really kind of spoke to me because I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons for about 30 years now. In fact, that's how the novels were introduced to me. When I was a freshman in college, I started to play with my roommate and my friends, and they gave me the trilogy to read as kind of to help me understand the game. Because I had that experience with the game, the novel really means a lot to me because you can kind of see the game in action. However, if you do not have that background, I can see how that would be a little bit jarring especially if you're used to reading modern fantasy. Fortunately, the second and the third books, the writing really kind of evens out. It becomes less noticeable. The other major problem that I have with these three books is the authors made some questionable decisions as they planned the plot of the novel. You can see my old discussion video for the Dragonlance Chronicles if you're interested in those. I've already done a discussion video for the second uh, book in the uh, trilogy, and I'm planning on doing one for the third book as well, and I'll talk about those a little bit more in those videos. While I think most readers will struggle with these three books, I do recommend people actually do read these three books. These three books actually do a couple things really well. The first one is character building. The plot may not be memorable in these books, but the characters are. They don't always make the best decisions, but these books really shine when you have two characters or more interacting with one another. The other thing that really shines in this novel is the world building. Weiss and Hickman, along with a team of other people who were working for TSR, the owner of the Dungeons and Dragons property, actually took a lot of time to develop the history of the world before they ever sat down to write the Dungeons and Dragon modules and the novels. And there are little bits and pieces that are sprinkled throughout these three novels that really show the care that they uh, made in developing the, this story. Now that I've read other books in this series, you know, relatively recently, I can really appreciate the detail that went into the world. These three books really do reward a reread, especially after you've read more books in the series. 
I know these three books will be rough for most modern readers to actually get through, but if you want to understand why so many people like myself really love this series, you will have to get through the first three books. I do suggest after reading the first three books that you read the Dragonlance Legends trilogy, because I think those three books are among the finest books that I've read. I gave the first and the last book of the Legends Trilogy four stars. I gave the middle book of the Legends Trilogy five stars. I gave the first book, Dragons of Autumn Twilight, four stars. And really, the fourth star is because of my experience playing Dungeons & Dragons. It's really just a three-star novel in and of itself. It may even be a two-star novel for those who are not familiar with Dungeons & Dragons. The second and third book of the trilogy, I each gave three stars. There are things I really like about the, the later two books. There's things that I really don't like about the later two books. If you've read through this series, uh, I've made other videos about these three books, and I'll link all of them in the description below. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.